So tell me about Girl About Toronto. Yeah, so Girl About Toronto started as just a lifestyle vlog, a way of me documenting my adventures in the city. I'm originally from the 905 and always went to school in Toronto and commuted here. So when I lived here, I really just wanted a way of capturing the sights and sounds of the things that I was doing because Toronto is such a dynamic city. And then shortly after, I realized that I had a viable business here because people were uh, reaching out to me for help with their own brand, for help with their own social media development, and so that's what I do now full time. And this summer, Jasmine actually reached out to me and she wanted to add a video component to Girl About Toronto, so we launched Girl About Toronto TV. Arts and culture coverage was always something I wanted to do, but I noticed that she didn't have any videos. So I sent her an email saying, hey, I'm this random chick from Ryerson. <laughs> Um, trust me with your YouTube channel, let's do it together. And we had brunch with Caesars and the rest is history. We've been hanging out every day since. Yeah. <laughs> so we're sitting on the rooftop of a, a beautiful condo, uh, Streetcar Developments. Uh, they've been doing a fantastic job throughout the city of Toronto with a focus on the East End. Um, we're, we're on the rooftop of a condo, but you know, within one block of here, they have mm -hmm. several developments and, and several developments planned. They've just bought the Jillies property mm -hmm. at Queen and Broadview, which is uh, half a block away. They bought the Toyota property and they have big things planned. Perhaps you could talk a little bit about, you know, the east end of the city, the neighborhood here and, uh, you know, what you would look for. Yeah, well, Streetcar actually has a really great brand because I think that the neighborhood is confident that they are going to do something great with Jillies. It's not just going to be condos. They promise that. Uh, so I'm excited to see what's going to happen there. Personally, I think that a really good idea would be a sort of Gladstone East with a bar and it's something. an awesome idea. <laughs> yeah, and then maybe something in the front that pays a little bit of homage to Jilly's. So a bar in the front called Jilly's or uh, something with a cabaret flair I think would be really fun. Girl about Toronto, uh, what are some of your areas of focus? Or perhaps you can give me one specific area. So when Girl About Toronto first started, I was interested in covering everything because I was so excited about the city. But then just recently this year, I decided that my focus is just going to be arts and culture. And that's because, I mean, that's where I normally end up. I end up at an art event or a poetry slam or a music event. Uh, and I think that that's the area that I'm most interested in covering. That's my beat. And I think that something that Jasmine picked up on when she reached out to me originally, and so that's our mantra moving forward, is arts and culture focus. I've personally uh, very much enjoyed your videos and I think you're doing a great thing. Well, thank you. How has the, uh, the general public reacted to them? Have they been well received? Yeah, well it's funny because Girl About Toronto TV launched at the exact same time that the grid folded. And so we, we were really upset when we learned that that happened, but we do see that there's a void for the sort of super local, hyper local coverage. We did a piece on a dog park in Greenwood that is having problems with the surface that they laid down and the community that's rallying together to change that and everyone loved it. Everyone was really glad that there's now a narrative online in video form about their cause. And we also do neighborhood series videos and maybe I'll let Jasmine speak to that. So we've done two neighborhood videos. First we start with Little India and since we're East Enders, uh, Amanda's from Leslieville, I'm from the beaches. We did one on Little India and uh, um, I showed all my friends and they said we want more. And I think Amanda's friends said the exact same thing. So we did one on the beaches, which I'm, I'm really happy about. I'm from there and I know the area really well. And we, we really try to make the videos so that you would watch it and you would see your sister or your grandmother and that you, you would say, oh my gosh, I go get ice cream at Ed's Real Scoop all the time. We just want to make it very relatable. And I think that's what really makes our videos special. As all of us build our businesses, we look well into the future, not just for tomorrow, but you know, a year, three years, and five years out. Can you share with me a little bit about what your goals and, and hopes and dreams are for Girl About Toronto over the coming years? Well, Amanda and I are millennials, and Amanda is 27, I'm 22, but we're not gonna be 20-somethings forever, but what I want us to keep forever in what we do is the local flavor. I always want to interview people on the street and just be on the front lines, not the sidelines of something. We want to be there capturing it as it's happening and <clears throat> keep it recognizable and relatable for everyone in the city. 
Yeah, and in terms of monetization, we're currently seeking sponsors right now for uh, commissioning the video series. So we're reaching out to Tourism Toronto and other various funding bodies in the city to fund uh, the stories that we're telling and to continue doing what we're doing. Thank you for spending the time with me on this lovely rooftop. The uh, sun is coming out. It's the last work day of the summer, technically, not the mm -hmm. vernal equinox, mm -hmm. but we're right before the long weekend. <laughs> Uh, so there's some sadness, but there's happiness as well. We always try to look forward, not look back. And uh, I just wanted to thank you again. This yeah, was really thanks for having us. It was fun. Thank you so much.